All right, verse 7. We've been over godliness, brotherly kindness, and brotherly kindness, love. What is brotherly kindness? It identifies us to the world as Christ's disciples. By this, all will know that you are my disciples if you love, have love for one another. John 13, verse 35. Brotherly kindness takes a number of manifestations. With other believers, it's obvious that when you don't feel like being kind, you're kind anyway. That's a pretty quick definition of it. Giving, sacrificing for those, those people. When it comes to unbelievers, even after they've treated you in poor manner, even after they have um, disrespected you, belittled you, impugned you. And impugned means that they say uh, derogatory things about your character which aren't true. Um, it's like slander. It's just another way of saying slander, impugned. <laughs> um, you could say falsely impugned. Um, because I think that impugning can also have the meaning of uh, <clears throat> can have the meaning of truth if what is being said is true. But in most cases it's not because <clears throat> nobody in this world has any business knocking somebody else's character um, unless they're a believer in Christ because the way the world is today nobody has morals, nobody has values, nobody has virtue. No person who doesn't believe in Christ can say anything about someone who's in the church because that's how far the moral rot in this world has gone. They have no credibility, no standing whatsoever. They can run their mouths all they want to, but they're nothing more than a noisy gong. However, in the church, we can judge character, and we better be careful through brother, brother to kindness to do it in a loving, kind way, speaking the truth in love. And by the way, if you ever rebuke another believer and find that the person uh, recoiled against you, it could be one of two things. Either A, you went at it with a jackhammer without realizing it, you weren't gentle and kind speaking the truth and love, or B, that believer just simply doesn't want to be corrected anyway. And it doesn't matter how nicely you go about doing it, it is going to be well received regardless. So, brotherly kindness has to do with being kind and gentle with all people, regardless of how much you want to do the opposite. Get into an altercation with them. Set them straight. Whether it's by verbal um, clashing, or whether it's by a fist fight, or a push and shove match, or wrestling, grabbing the other person's hair, scratching the other person, however people fight. And everybody's been in one of those. And that I may know through my arms around them and tell them I love them because they love my Christ. That is Christian love when you can pray for someone who murdered your own child. It's not easy to do. I've never experienced it, but people have. And love is the greatest of all things. And basically what love is, is laying down your life for others. You know how many times in the history of the church that a Christian went to the fire or to the guillotine or to the alligators or the acid pool or whatever it was with their unbelieving martyrs, executioners watching and some of those executioners came to faith in Christ. Some of those people watching came to faith in Christ because they were convinced this person died for what they believed in. That has a very powerful impact. As you are dying for your faith Know this, not only is it bearable and not very painful, but you may very well be followed a few minutes later by the very person who put you to death or someone watching in the crowd. 
It's happened a number of times. So in order to wrap up this message, I want to say thank everyone for listening to my uh, previous sermons. I really am thankful for the opportunity to preach and teach God's Word. And um, this message is not any shorter than any of the other ones. It's just divided up into two or three parts so that you have, if you only have five or ten minutes to listen rather than a half an hour, you can listen to one message one day and another message another. And it also helps me because um, I uh, can go back and do things with them on my YouTube channel and uh, make them more hearable and readable for others who don't speak English. God bless everybody. Pray that everybody is doing well. And I pray, God, that you watch over each and every one of us and bless us. Fill us all with your Holy Spirit. And we pray for the salvation of the lost. May we remain strong in his grace and power. And God bless. In Jesus' name we pray. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, amen.